Hello, beautiful souls. I promise that the readings have not changed. <laughs> I just had um, some things that I wanted to talk about or announcements that I wanted to make. So I want to do one intro and just add it to all 12 instead of doing it 12 times. But if you're new, hello, my name is Amber. It's nice to meet you. If you're returning, thank you for being here and lending your energy to the channel. I appreciate it. Um, so if you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below. Or when you get into the reading, it will be a website listed at the top of the screen that you can go to. So I wrote a workbook. <laughs> the workbook actually is to go with any professional reading that you receive, um, whether it could be your own, to be honest, um, it could be your own reading, um, it could be from me, or it could be from any other professional. But what brought this idea along was the fact that people get all this good information and they don't know what to do with it or how to apply it in a practical sense. So this book kind of makes it easy it's like a step-by-step -step guide so it starts off with um, how to choose your reader and what kind of readings there are and things like that and it moves on to what kind of what kind of questions to ask um, in order to get the answers that you deserve okay that you deserve or that are best for you what to do before the reading the day of the reading to help you and the reader out um, after the reading, a week after, and the month after, so on and so forth. So it, it, it is a workbook, so you can write things down in it. The thing that I like about it is I've had people test it out for me, and you can use that workbook as a reminder of what you've been through in case you hit another lesson that reminds you of this one. You can go through it and see the steps that you've taken and the things that you have learned. So that's one of the good things I like about it. Um, it also comes free for a limited time right now with any full reading that you purchase. If you choose so, you have the option to decline it if you want to. Um, or you can just go in and buy it if you want to just to have it. Uh, the links for that will be in the description box below. So you can just go right to that. Or you can go to the website. It should be a, a link on the front, on the home page of the website. <laughs> so I'm really excited about it. I hope you like it. Check it out. Tell me what you think. Um, thank you for listening. <laughs> Hello, beautiful souls. I hope my music isn't too loud. I can't turn it down because it's playing through my Alexa, not my phone. So, <laughs> so we're going to get started. I'm going to pull who is first. We have Libra. Well, not first, but you know, who's coming out of the bag. So Libra. So Libra, I feel like Alexa volume one. I okay. So <laughs> so Libra, I feel as though you're on a journey right now, okay? Um and it's a well not a well plan, but a journey that you've chosen for yourself. Like you wanna start moving towards something traveling some of you are traveling some of you uh, are going places moving some of you are bored in the house and want to get out right but I really feel like you're going through a journey this feels more mental to me so I feel as though you're going on a journey of yourself you're going to be so surprised in the month of May what you're capable of handling and dealing with. You might not have thought that you could handle or deal with the type of things that you have. Um, I feel like you're going to surprise yourself in May, Libra. Yeah. Yeah. 
I just feel like you're gonna you're either gonna find things out about someone and it's gonna help you make better decisions as far as moving forward or you're just gonna find out things about yourself like what you can handle what you're capable of Yeah, you're definitely in a renewal of yourself. Um, you're in a renewal either of yourself, of finding like a relationship you've been in or a situation that you've been in. Um, it's like you want some newness to come from it, okay? Um, it almost feels like it was kind of dying. It's a weird thing to say, but it was kind of dying and you found a tiny thing about it to try to revive it, okay? As you move forward in May, <laughs> this is interesting because I feel like you are going to understand that you have all the power and strength you need within yourself. You have the willpower and the drive and the stability to do things yourself. Um, and I just feel like that confidence, like I said, it, it just opens up in you. It's like you have all of these abilities and this strength to deal and to deal and do things. Hmm. Yeah, and I feel like whatever this situation is or this person that you're dealing with um, that's negative, you're going to slowly start releasing it. Because I feel like, especially with impartiality, it's kind of like you don't really care about it that much. It doesn't have that much of a hold on you because you've built up so much strength and power within this month that this that was holding on to you doesn't seem to have the same hold on you okay because I feel like you've tried to there's two things that I'm feeling though and that's why I'm getting it confused because I'm feeling someone renewing themselves doing something for themselves maybe confessing to someone maybe stepping out and doing some sort of abundant thing for you okay and it makes you feel good in yourself and helps build up your confidence but then you have something else that you may be dealing with too because it feels like maybe two different things um two different people two different situations kind of like a push and pull um but in the middle of that is you and you're discovering a lot about yourself and the things you need not the things you want but the things you actually need like to sustain yourself okay and also the things that you want in a relationship, in a career, in a situation. How are you manifesting those things? Are the the circumstances that you're in manifesting those things for you? Okay.
All right, Libra. So in May, you're finding out the truth about your situation or a situation in your life. I feel like it's it's very much a feeling of being honest with yourself, especially with the strength being here. Okay, it's like you're building up your confidence, your self-esteem and telling your truths, expressing how you feel, telling people off, telling people how you feel. <laughs> It's just a lot of things are coming out. Um, or you may hear that your partner is telling you how they feel. And that helps you gather some sort of sense of where you are. And that way you can feel in some way to have some sort of control over the situation. They keep telling me to look under here. Yeah. Yeah you're just not fighting anymore you're not fighting the back and forth it's almost like why am i so conflicted about the way that i feel you know libra it's like you matter and your feelings matter and what you want matters okay um you can try to keep the peace and keep the balance all you want to but you still matter your feelings are valid okay so we start off here with the temperance in reverse. <laughs> it just means that whatever situation you were in coming into May feels like it was just over excessive. Um, it was a lot going on and I feel like you either took a lot or accepted a lot of crap or a lot. Um, a lot of crap. I'm just going to say that um, because you wanted things to move forward. OK, you felt like it was like this was something new or fresh a new perspective on your life like it could have been good for you but the more that you look at it or the more that you step out of the situation you're seeing that there's so much trouble in getting this thing started there's so much trouble in getting this to jump off the ground okay but really what it comes down to are you willing to let go of something that you've been holding on to so I feel like you've been holding on to it out of fear that this is either the end, a last chance for you, um, or you're just being really stubborn because you don't want to feel like you failed, okay? So, so all in all, you're really holding on to this and trying to wait for something to spark back up or for something to get better um, with this, this past thing, okay? But that's causing a lot of conflict, okay? A lot of back and forth. And I, th with these cards, honestly, you putting a whole lot of energy into this. Where do you go? You, <laughs> you putting a whole lot of energy into this and not getting a lot of outcome, okay? Um, it's like how many, how long are you going to continue this fight? Because the Five of Swords is about trying to be cunning and trying to win. And it could be, honestly, that you're being manipulated by this person um, because they know your feelings, okay? So just be careful about trying to be manipulated by a person as well, Libra. Yeah, especially with this Queen of Cups here. I didn't even move my hand to see it. But this person may be very... Um, manipulative emotionally okay to you it's almost like they know that you want to start something new they know that you want something um, or they may know that you're looking to walk out or find something that's more exciting or more uh, your pace honestly um, Something that looks more exciting to you. There's something, I feel it, that looks more exciting to you in May. Okay? And I feel like you're going back and forth your, with yourself about going to get it or going to investigate this. It could be a career, a hobby. It could be another person. You're trying to hold on to what it is that you do have due to manipulation. 
but at the same time, you're not getting the kind of affection that you need in the situation. And also your intuition is telling you that it just doesn't feel smooth anymore. You know, some relationships have a smoothness to them. This one doesn't feel like it has that smoothness anymore. It's just cunning or people trying to get on top of each other, trying to win these silent battles. It feels like a silent battle to me. So, yeah, there's somebody that somebody else that you're interested in or somebody that may be interested in you. There's something about them um, that's very gentle. And it's different than what it is that you've been getting. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like you're going to take a chance on this new person, Libra. Okay. Um, eventually, you're going to have to make a choice, though. This might not be the time. I feel like you're holding on steady to what it is that you have in May. You're kind of thinking back and forth, trying to do a sort of balancing act. Because you do want something new, but also you know this person may not be emotionally stable or they may be a little wicked. Um, yeah, but eventually I feel like you're going, you're trying to put an end to this. Because you're ready to move forward and you feel like this new person has an opportunity to move forward with you. Um, there may be some distance between this person due to work problems, relocation problems, or due to the pandemic, honestly. Um, but I feel like, yeah, or just plain... Or just plain worry about starting something new and not knowing if the feelings that you're feeling are childish and they don't matter. You know, like, or ch childish to you. I also feel like this person doesn't even know that you like them. I don't think they even know that there's an opportunity to move forward. Or they're not sure that there's a future here. They're not really working on it. But I feel like you're trying to build up your confidence. You don't really feel lovable for some reason. Why is that? Because you're dealing with trying to break up with this person. And they, they're just not making you feel good. Oof, Libra, Lord. Well, at least you're figuring out the truth of things so you can get that moving, whatever whatever that is. Let me go see what that noise is. I'll be right back. Like having little kids. Okay. All right, Libra. Let's see what your cards are. If you like somebody new, let them know. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to let that other person know that you care about them. Okay? I 
I feel like there's some generational issues. <laughs> okay. There's some generational issues with someone um, as far as love goes. Um, it's like they don't know how to, this is for a Libra specifically. They don't know how to express love because of their parents. Their parents are involved in some way. Okay. Um, they're not sure how to express themselves on what they want. But it's interesting because I feel like you do. It's it's almost like a choosing to settle. Choosing to settle. So you deserve to be nurtured. Like I said, your feelings, your emotions, what you want is a valid thing. Okay. I don't know what happened along the way to make you feel like maybe it's not. But it, I'm here to tell you that it is. All right. You got to start expressing what it is that you want. Okay. Um, and not only that, expressing what you want, but making an environment where you can create what you want. Okay. So you can say with words all you want to that you want something. But if you're not creating or nurturing an environment where you can have those things, okay, then it's not going to come. You crave for some sort of stability. It's interesting because you crave a stability where you can be free to be who you are. And you might think, oh, everyone does that. But for you, you need it because you need that balance you need that sense of freedom as well and you need to know that you have whatever it is on lock at the same time so you can feel safe to be you at the most rawest form that you can be some of you are in relationships where you are not able to do that but it's almost like you feel like you need to stay here. You need to hold on to whatever this is. Some of you are afraid to get into new relationships. Some of you single people are afraid to confess your feelings or really be transparent. That's really going to help you in May. Because the more that you start to be transparent, no matter where you start at, you know, you can start working through your problems. But it's like with that seven of swords being in your spread, you have to, to confess. You have to get all that stuff off your chest. You have to move forward. Your advice is to bring a gentle touch to yourself. All I get from this is being yourself. Okay. Um, you're a kind person and you are gentle about the way that you give things you think about things you're not just like doing it you know you're not impulsive and you can do it you can get out of something you can get into something that makes you happy you just have to start you have to start to progress you have to begin somewhere uh, that's really what it is. I mean, you have all this power within yourself, which I talked about with the runes. You, you, you have it. And you can do it. <laughs> it's a little bit of a journey, but you can do it. Now, progression, abundance, moving forward. We have seven, which is community. Community, um, as soon as I touch this card, it's about you expanding your bubble. I don't know what has happened and you're very sociable. That's not a problem with you meeting new people or anything like that. But I feel it's almost like you need to pay attention to the company that you're keeping. Um, like you need to expand out more. You're starting to take the personalities, I guess. Or a collective personality of the bubble that you're in right now. And it's time to expand out and get some new energy in there. Okay. 
um, getting new energy in a situation allows you to be called out. <laughs> and what I mean is um, you're not able to manipulate these people um, like new people into believing your BS when you need to be called out on things, okay? Because when you're around people for a long time, um, you have a sense of, I know that you know what I mean by this. It sounds really crazy, but you have a sense of control over your surroundings. If you've been around a person for 20 years, you know, um, you have to get some new energy in there, some new movement, some new change in order to refresh the energy, okay? Um, I'm just going to leave it there because, yeah. <laughs> so Libra, thank you for allowing me to read for you. Um, if you need a private reading, link's in the description box below or you can go to that website there. I love you so much and I will see you for the mid-months, okay? Bye-bye.